What you doing? Hey Murray, just sorting through some toys. Be careful, don't stand at any. I won't. Oh, hey everybody, welcome to the Odd Pod Show, episode five. It should be a good one, so sit back and enjoy. Really cool. You ready for the toy review? Not yet, I'm just looking for a toy to review now. Hey, how about that one? What was that? Uh oh. It was nothing! The floor is just... crunchy. Murray, what was it? Ah, uh, it's a Ninja Turtles crime kit thing or something. It looks cheap, don't worry. Well, at least it's not an expensive toy, but still, be careful, Murray. Maybe you shouldn't be throwing toys all over the room. Well, shut up. Well, the packaging on this is open now, so I guess I could review this. Really? Yeah, why not? We all had one of these kits back in the day. Yeah, I'm going to review it. Okay, cool. Flip, get the toy review title card ready. Sure a thing, good buddy. Okay, now it's time for the toy review. This is a toy review of the Teenage Mutant Hero Turtles Crime Fighter set. Uh, yes, you can tell it's British because it's Hero Turtles and not a Ninja. So you probably had one of these as a kid. Maybe it was a sheriff set, maybe it was a police set, but we all had one of these as a kid. This one just happens to have the turtles plastered on it. So let's have a look at the content. So at the front of the box it says help the turtles fight crime and inside you get handcuffs, a play watch, a compass, clip on silver, badge, uh, whistle and storage pouch because every time I think of the turtles the first thing that comes to my mind is handcuffs <laughs> and a silver sheriff badge so let's have a look at the content so we'll go with the play watch first oh play watch I think it's slash compass to say there yeah play watch play watch sorry slash compass um oh yeah very plasticky plastic <laughs> kind of hard I wonder if I can no yeah <laughs> I was going to say, I wonder if I can get them on my little dainty wrists, but not a chance. Um, I'm not sure if that is an actual compass, because, yeah, I know, it's just a picture. It's got Raphael, but it's just, it's not a compass. Oh, I guess it's a play compass, because, um, yeah, there is literally, there's no, there's something shaking inside, though. Where is that? Oh, I can, it's the chicard board. <laughs> I thought there was going to be something inside, but yeah, it's just a piece of cardboard uh, that shows a picture of a compass, but it's not actually a compass. Yeah, these um, sets back in the... I guess they've been going since the 80s, these kind of sheriff cop sets and stuff. Um, they were very cheap. They usually found them in the like the cheap toy aisle bargain bins at market stalls and things like that. They were very, very cheap, and they still even do them today in like um, the pound shops and stuff like that, and cheap dollar stores and things. But um, yeah, that's the... Play watch slash non compass thing. Right, next up we have. What is this? Uh, it is a adjustable belt. It, yeah. <laughs> I'm not going to unravel the whole thing. You know what a belt looks like. It's very cheap plastic. It looks like one of those sweets, actually. Those um, strawby, not strawby laces. I can't remember what they're called now. You know what I mean? Bootstraps are they called? Strawby bootstraps or something? It's just a belt. It's just a cheap. Bell? I don't get what what's turtly about that, but yeah, okay. Next up we have... Oh, we have the whistle. Because that's what the Ninja Turtles always use when they're in trouble. A little whistle. Does it actually work? <whistles> oh, it does. Yep. <whistles> See if we can do the Ninja Turtles theme on it. There you go. <whistles> Did that sound anything like the Ninja Turtles theme? <laughs> 
don't know. Uh, it's not even got a turtle sticker on it. That's kind of lazy, really, isn't it? You'd think at least they'd put some sort of Ninja Turtle... Oh, maybe at the side there. Little ninja... No, nothing. Right, next we have... We have the... Oh, it's a sheriff badge, isn't it? It's one of those little slide clip-on ones. Um, it's nice looking. It's pretty much... It's got the... Um, it's got Raphael again, but I'm not sure if that is even Raphael. It might just be like... Because it looks like the old comic book um, thing. And they all had red bandanas back then. So maybe it's just any of the turtles. I don't know. Because each one has had oh, that one as well. Raphael. So maybe it is just all the turtles, but they're just using the old comic? I really don't know. I don't care. But yeah, it's it's a sheriff badge. It would have either police written on it or sheriff or something, but this one has a Ninja Turtle. And um, it's nice enough, I guess. Yeah. Oh, by the way, this pack is from 1989. I just thought I'd add. All right, that's fun. Next we have the storage pouch. That's a bit better. It's got 1989, Mirage Studios. Um, can you actually close that? How do you... There's two little slits there. How do you actually... So you just close it like that? Oh, I guess so. Oh! That's where the belt comes in. The belt goes through these slits here, doesn't it? And then you put it on this side. Of, ah, okay, the belt makes sense now. I thought it was literally a belt to hold your pants up. No, nope, it's a belt to pop this pouch on. Okay, that's pretty cool. Uh, it can hold a few things. I think it can hold. You know, you can put, oh, you don't. You won't put the badge in there, but you can put your whistle in there. And I don't know why you'd put a watch in there, but yeah, okay. <laughs> so it's all right, I guess. So it's quite nice. At least it's got um, an actual turtles logo on it so that's not bad it's okay and last of all very oh geez very very flimsy <laughs> geez even a fly could snap out of that it should <laughs> that's yeah it's the wobbliest finished plastic ever i'm not i don't want to pull that that's gonna snap and um, do they actually lock in oh they do well you can just pull them out but um yeah that is some turtles handcuffs there because you know they are, they're always using handcuffs and whistles uh right just gonna there you go yeah <laughs> so basically these these were good when you were a kid you know you got about an hour of fun out of them then they'd all break and you wouldn't really care because they were a bit rubbish anything on the back no and um, we've got some turtles imagery at the front there Crime fighter set, help the turtles fight crime. Oh, so you're pretty much just helping the turtles. Oh, so this is like, I guess it's not what the turtles would use, but what you would use to help the turtles? I don't know. But yeah, it it's all right. And like I said, it's pretty much something, I'm, I'm pretty sure at least 90% of you all had a kit like this in some form. Maybe not turtles, maybe, you know, sheriff, police, SWAT team, anything like that. Please let me know which one you had in the comments below, by the way. But yeah, we all had one. Maybe you did have the turtles one. But we all had one of these back in the day. Um, they were a bit rubbish. <laughs> but they were cheap, so that's all right, isn't it? So that was my review of the Teenage Mutant Hero Turtles Crime Fighter set. Mr. Murray, I have more mail for you. Of course you do. I'm a superstar. Uh, yeah. Here you go. Thank you. Go away. Oh! Mwah. <sighs> Home video clip next? Yeah, it's one of mine today. Okay. Right, now it's time for the home video clip.
If you want to send in a home video clip, send it to oddpodshow at hotmail.co.uk. Oddpod will be back after the break. Who gives you raging arcade gameplay? Who gives you the most authentic sports games? Who gives you a game that lets you fly? And who gives you access to the internet on your TV? Play games, surf the net, only on Sega Saturn. Because of waffles and alphabites come new potato funny faces. Crisp golden slices made with real mashed potato with no artificial flavors or colors. Mommy and Daddy. Very good, darling. New potato funny faces from the bird's eye potato family. In the morning, when you stare at your reflection, it seems to say you need aqua fresh protection. So don't be a chump. Reach for the bum. Aqua fresh. Aqua fresh has three stripes to help fight tooth decay, gum disease, and plaque, giving your family three in one protection. Brush, brush. Get down to the rhythm. Pump, pump. Got the right stuff to give up. It gives you a buzz when you know what it does. Aqua fresh. Not just a pretty paste. There are some things in life that don't seem like a good idea. Until you try them. Take QT, for example. It's an instant white tea. So there's no need to add milk. And when you try it, we think you'll like it. QT, instant white tea from Typhoon. Try it. You might like it. <laughs> Boy, oh boy, that looks just like a quaver. Hey, this one, this one smells like a quaver. I wonder if they taste like quavers. They are quavers. <laughs> quavers, watch out, they taste girly. Okay, now it's time for Murray's Mail. Murray's Mail. Hey guys, welcome to Murray's Mail. The place where I read out all the cool mail you great people send me. Okay, let's get straight to the first letter. This one is from Arthur from Pocket Rocket Radio, and he says, Hey guys, drew my childhood like you asked. Well, I don't know what to say. What a lovely picture. Really shows what a great childhood you had. I... I hope you're okay. Okay, my next letter is from Vampire Mike from Sega CD Universe and he says, What is your favorite old-fashioned candy from when you were a child? Hmm, that's a tough one. I liked a lot, but if I had to pick I would go for Gobstoppers, also known as Jawbreakers, the really large ones. If you haven't noticed, I have a big mouth. Oh, we all know that. Shut up. Yes, I have a big mouth, so the gobstoppers were a perfect size for me. They were cheap, and it would take a long time to shrink down in size, so I could chew and swallow it. They were too big for me, and they didn't really taste nice. Well, nobody asked you. Anyway, yes, big jawbreakers slash gobstoppers were my fave when I was a little monster. Okay, time to wrap it up. Fine. Well, that's it for today's Murray's Mail. If you want to send me a letter or a picture, then email me at oddpodshow at hotmail.co.uk. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye! And that's it for this episode of The Odd Pod Show. I really hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. If you'd like to follow us on Twitter, you can at oddpodretro. You can also check our Patreon page if you'd like to support and improve the channel. It's patreon.com slash oddpodshow. And you can also join our Facebook group and chat to other nostalgia lovers. And Just for, search for oddpod on Facebook or you can check the link in the description below. We also have an Instagram, at oddpodretro. Oh yeah? Thanks for watching, everybody. We really do appreciate it. Like, comment, subscribe, etc. And we'll see you on the next one. Bye.